Agadvach Avra, Slamitaya Maisa. The story goes that the Balshantav once went to a number of his students in the base Madrash and said, Let's go on a trip together. This was something that he would do uh, very often. He would go on these mysterious trips and he would handpick which particular of which particular chasidim were chosen on which particular trip. So one particular time he comes to a group of them and says, We're going on a trip together. Okay. So they all get into the wagon. Baal Shem Tov whispers the uh, destination in the ears of the horse. And he sits back and continue on. And after a number of uh, hours and so on, they find themselves in, in front of a frozen lake. Okay. Now, just appreciate the scene. Uh, this was in the dead of winter, Russia, dead of winter, by a frozen lake, as I said. And the custom was in those days that there was a particular religious uh, custom that the non-Jews had, which was that in the middle of the winter, during the time of their holidays in December and January time, so all the community would come out to the frozen lake. The children would ice skate and, and so on. And what the children would do as well, they would take sticks and they would carve crucifixes in the ice. And that's what they would do. And then all the priests would come and they would have a ceremony there. They would have mass there. And there was a whole, it was a whole thing. So obviously not the place for a, uh, a Jew, not a place for the Baal Shem Tov, But this is where the wagon ends up in front of the frozen lake while all this is going on. Now, this is very strange. The students look at the Baal Shem's like, maybe we took a wrong turn somewhere. The Baal Shem Tov sees where they are. And he's very excited. All of a sudden he becomes very excited. He jumps out of the wagon and he sees what's going on. He sees all the children making crucifixes, and he sees the Galachim uh, doing their services over there, the priests and so on. And the Baal Shem Tov gets even more excited. And he puts on his gartel, and he straightens his strimal, and he walks over there. And then, you know, all the non-Jews see this rabbi coming, and it's like, they're, they're so shocked by the, the, the scene that they are frozen solid, they don't even know what to do. The Baal Shem Tov goes, and he begins to close his eyes, and daven, and shakal. It's a whole avayda, mamash all avayda. And the students, they don't know what is going on over here. And they, first they try to tell the you know, Rebbe, this is maybe not the right place for us. And Baal Shem Tov just is completely fixated on the scene. And he's completely in a state of dvekas. And after a half hour or so of the Baal Shem Tov being in that dimension that he would go to and doing his avayda, Baal Shem Tov says, oh, okay, Eiskipalt, you know, we, mission accomplished. And so fine, he takes up his gartel, goes back to the wagon, and they go back to their hometown and back to the base Medrash. So after this whole thing over, the students go over to the Rebbe and say, Rebbe, what in the world was going on? So Hashem said, let me tell you something. He said, there's something in reality, the Rebbe Hashem made the world in such a way that water is the source of all life. All good things, all delicious things, all holy things comes from water. A water could be a mikveh, a water sustains vegetation, a water is, is life, life comes from water. Mayim chayim, water is unbelievable. It's the source of all things that are good. But look at this, that lake that we visited, it's the same water. But you see what happens when water freezes over? When it freezes over, it could become an avodizar man, it could become an idol. A crucifix can be etched into the ice. This is such a phenomenon. So Baal Shem Tov said, so I came to the world, said the Baal Shem Tov, to try to fix, to try to fix that. That there shouldn't be such a thing that water should turn to a crucifix. And what's the Eitzah? How does a person stop that from happening? So you see, the Baal Shanta said that such a phenomenon could happen when the water freezes over. When it's extremely cold, then all of a sudden the water turns to ice and it could become Mamash a crucifix. What's the Eitzah? Huh? Very often the world is it's cold outside. You can't uh, snap your fingers and make it summertime. So what could you do? So Baal Shanta said, even if it's cold, the only reason why the water froze is because the water was still. It wasn't moving. If water is moving, then no matter how cold it is outside, Moving waters are not going to freeze. Baal Shem Tov said the Eitzah for a Jew is, you try to, you know, you try to stay warm. You try to stay warm as much as you can. But sometimes it's the winter. And sometimes it's the winter inside. And it's very difficult to not, to, to, to maintain that heat and that warmth. So then what do you do? So Baal Shem Tov said, you keep on moving. Keep on moving. Shachris, Mechel, Meyer, Mitzvahs, Meisim, Tovim, Amuna, Strength, Weiter, Weiter, Weiter. You don't stop. And if you're moving, then you don't freeze. If you're moving, you don't freeze. 
Baal Shem Tov said, and that's what I'm bringing to the world, that's my avoid in life, is to keep Jews warm. And if they can't stay warm, then you create that warmth by moving, by moving. Do more mitzvahs, be proud of what you have accomplished, and go weiter and weiter and weiter and don't stop. And that's the chizik that we learn from this story. We learn from this story is that you have to stay warm. And if you stay warm, you won't freeze over. And if, it's, and if you can't stay warm, you generate warmth, you generate heat by what? By moving, by moving. Hashem shall bless us. We should always keep on moving from mitzvah to mitzvah, from davening to davening, from chesed to chesed, from faith to faith, from level to level. And with that, we should, the whole world should be encompassed with that warmth. And the warmth of the neshama, the warmth of, the, of a yid, should just spread and spread and spread and bring the whole world back to that springtime of Aviv, that springtime of Gula. She was like to see their own eyes with BS called Sadiq and Harvey Mainu Amen. I'll get to Vach.